elements. Insert standard web challenge here. Uh, you can download the source code and we will craft up some magic. All right, so this, this game reminds me of something my son used to play. It's called Little Alchemy or something like that. So you like combine things and then you get more things. And so uh, you can do that for a while. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the source code for this. Uh, in the index.js file, there's this really interesting method here called evaluate. So it says if you combine two things and you get the result is XSS, then we will evaluate state.xss. So we will get to run arbitrary JavaScript on the server. So that is pretty cool. Uh, what that means we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out how to build one of these XSS things. So what I've done is I grabbed a list of all the triples. So ash plus fire is charcoal, magma plus mud is obsidian, and I threw them into a big list in Python. We saw that we started with fire, water, earth, and air. And so while we don't have um, XSS in our set, I loop through the recipes. If we have the two component parts and we don't have the thing they build, then I add that to the list of steps, add that to the list of things we have. We stop when we get XSS. All right, so that creates a long list of things, but I'm building a bunch of things that maybe I don't need. So now I'm going to walk through those backwards. And if, in fact, they generate something I need, so originally I just need XSS. So if they generate something I need, then I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the list. And I'm going to get a set of recipes for building this. So if I say, that, so I combine earth and water, earth and fire. Eventually I combine cybersecurity and vulnerability to get an exploit, exploit and web design gets me cross-site scripting. So here is the list of, um, things that I need to combine together to get that XSS. Now, normally at this point we would win, right? We can just do a, a fetch from the appropriate server that we're running and we can capture the thing. But they've added a policy. And so the policy is that they allow only things on localhost port 8080 and they block everything else. So we're not gonna be able to do a fetch from our server. Also, so make sure that we don't work around that, you'll note that they've gotten rid of the WebKit RTC. But interestingly, what they have done is when they run Chromium, they enable the experimental web platform features. So there's a giant list of these experimental web platform features. Um, but one of them that's sort of catches the eye is this pending beacon API. So this may allow us to skip the uh, security features and just go ahead and call this particular API that's experimental, not going through that deny list. So that's what we're going to aim for. And so here's my script. I'm going to call new pending get beacon and I'm going to go to this webhook site with the flag, then we'll send the beacon. Um, webhook.site is a nice place to just sort of run uh, to get things. So it's sitting here, it's just waiting. I don't have to like have a public facing internet server or figure out how to run a web server. It will just list on this URL and it'll tell me here whenever anybody talks to that. All right, so I am on port 54776. So I'm going to do a request post with my parameters being a recipe and this whole payload, um, which contains the JavaScript, calling this pending get beacon. 
and the list of things that we need to combine together, culminating with exploit and web design, which is going to get us an XSS. All right, so. We'll go ahead and run that. And so there we go, we've sent this thing. We can now come over here and there the server has in fact contacted us and it has sent us Little Alchemy was the OG game. Does anyone remember? And uh, percent seven B is the open curly brace. Percent seven D is the closed curly brace. So we'll have to grab that, copy paste it over there, and get the flag.